tax breaks. President Xi Jinping is not very happy with the current situation. Plan Casino. This is not the commitment I am asking from you to understand the location, advantages, reasons why it is attractive. Government policies mess around. It's quite a weak place, overwhelming. So you better choose wisely. So in this channel, we try to bring you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Sometimes it's good, and sometimes the news is terrible. But today, we are going to bring you some good news. As you know, Vietnam and the U.S. have signed a historic partnership agreement called the CSPA, which is a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement increasing the trade between the two countries. With that said, the situation since 2017 in China's change in their investment policies and with this CSPA and the relationship with Vietnam, China is no longer a haven for investments like before. And now Vietnam can be poised to take that position on the global stage. And as you've seen in one of our previous videos, uh, President Xi Jinping is not very happy with the current situation, but that should make you as Americans very happy. Moreover, if you're thinking about opening up your business in Vietnam, we are going to talk about the six FDI destinations that are most attractive. We'll also talk about the trending businesses for foreign entrepreneurs from restaurants to opening up factories. And of course, we will give you a guide and instructions on how to relocate. So let's get started. So hello, my name is Ken Yung, international and business immigration attorney with over 15 years of experience helping foreigners find the right destination to invest into Vietnam, including factories, restaurants, franchises, F&B, technology, and many other industries as well. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about, the six FDI destinations that are best to invest in Vietnam. So as you can see behind me, there are a lot of people getting married and taking their wedding photos right now. But that is not the commitment I am asking from you. All I'm asking you is to subscribe to our YouTube channel because 70% of you actually don't subscribe to our channel. But I know you watch them a lot and there are many hours spent. And many of you have said, I love watching your YouTube channel. So I'm not asking you to marry me, but I would like to ask you to commit two seconds of your time, click on the subscribe button and become the 30% instead of the 70% that are subscribed to the channel. So thank you very much and I'll get back to the video. At the top of our list is Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam's financial capital. In 2023, Ho Chi Minh City attracted $5.85 billion of foreign direct investment. And the question is why? So I'm standing here in the heart of Ho Chi Minh City and these are the three reasons why it is attractive. Number one, its port handles our largest and highest volume of goods in Vietnam. Two, it is the busiest international airport. And three, it has a strategic location in the heart of Southeast Asia. Being the financial hub of Vietnam, it has attracted a lot of foreign direct investment into manufacturing, technology, and other services in the F&B business as well. With a population of 9 million people and 5 million of working age, 70% of them are third, under 30 years old. And also, there are many international universities here in Ho Chi Minh City, such as RMIT, Swinburne, Greenwich, Fulbright University, and many of the top Vietnamese universities as well. Being an educational hub here in Ho Chi Minh, provides very high caliber skilled workers in the region. Furthermore, Ho Chi Minh has a successful track record of attracting foreign direct investment of successful multinational corporations. Adding to the government policies to bolster advanced infrastructure, industrial development, and innovation. These factors and many others have positioned Ho Chi Minh City as a premier destination for foreign direct investment. So now we will go to the north. So heading to the capital Hanoi, Hanoi has attracted over $2.73 billion of foreign direct investment due to the reason that it has an extensive workforce, great infrastructure that is connected to many of the provinces in the north, such as Hai Phong, Bắc Giang, and Bắc Ninh, and many of the other areas. And of course, it's abundance of culture, innovation, and educated workforce as well. So for the foreign direct investment, the registered capital or companies in Hanoi 
However, much of the manufacturing is in the surrounding areas. If you're in advanced manufacturing, such as engineering or components, Hanoi is a great place. Also, many of the EVs or electric vehicles and batteries are also in the north in Hanoi and surrounding areas. And then finally, if you're in logistics, warehousing, freight forwarding, uh, or other related areas, Hanoi has a great supply chain management infrastructure that will lead to the investments for your particular business. These logistics industries are very critical in supporting the local industries and also international trade. There are three main sectors that are conducive for investments into Hanoi. Number one, investment into the tourism and the culture because Hanoi is robust in culture, heritage, and also food and beverage. So if you're looking to open a restaurant, providing culinary tours, or different specialized experience, it would be really great. The second area would be in the investment in healthcare and education as you can open up an international school or beauty clinics, both invasive and non-invasive as well. And then finally, the investments into technology. Hanoi and many of the people are very well versed in technology, well trained in engineering. So you can work off of technology based on AI, blockchain software, and other uses of technology for the advanced age. So those are the three areas that you would look into in investing if you're investing in Hanoi. So they say Hai Phong không có lòng vòng, which means Hai Phong doesn't mess around, which is, takes us to the star of the northern economies. Hai Phong attracted $3.26 billion of investment in 2023. Due to its position as the largest port in the north, its amazing infrastructure, and also many of the industrial parks as well, as well as being the seventh largest population in the country. Founded by the French, Haiphong is an industrial hub of Southeast Asia. Being strategically located on the Gum River, which is one of the largest ports, makes it easy for movements of goods around the world. If you are dealing with the manufacturing of shoes, clothes, textiles, or garment, it would be great in the north. Also, there's a large shipbuilding uh, industry as well, so you'll also find a lot of steel production and chemicals. Lastly, there's a lot of property development in Haiphong in many of the resorts and many areas, thus increasing many of the cement production, construction materials, and other supporting industries for property development. So next, we sail to a very exotic location near Haiphong, Quang Nun, which is the home of Halong Bay, and it has attracted over $3.11 billion of investment. Due to its strategic location in Vietnam, near China, many waterways and great infrastructure, it has made Quang Ninh a compelling destination for foreign direct investment. For foreign companies looking for a more cost-effective investment area, Quang Ninh would be a great place. In fact, Quang Ninh has four economic zones whereby foreign direct investments can have tax breaks and exemptions. Also, there are 10 industrial parks to choose from. Quang Nun has also already attracted foreign direct investment from the US, Japan, Singapore, and Thailand. The Vietnamese government has outlined in their 2014 to 2030 plan for infrastructure, roads, and also airports that would lead to the development of the Quang Nun area especially what is called the Vang Dong Special Economic Zone. This Vang Dong district has specialized in logistics, high-end entertainment, and high-end tourism, especially with a planned casino. The local government envisions this place as a thriving business and startup hub for the China ASEAN Economic Corridor. So if you're looking to invest into the hotel or hospitality industry, it's a great time to do so and also in entertainment as well. In fact, Vang Dong has attracted over $2 billion in infrastructure development, showcasing its potential. So before we continue with our next destination, we also want to give a shout out to two honorable mentions of economic regions in the southeast region of Vietnam. Number one, Binh Dương province, which is a great place for manufacturing of metals, electronics, furniture, and many of other low to high tech industries. The second economic zone is the Dong Nai province, which is only one hour away from Ho Chi Minh City, specializing in garment and textiles, equipment, food processing, and many other high tech areas as well. So if you want to learn about those two areas, make sure you click on the right hand corner to watch some of those videos. And now we'll return back to our list of the best destinations to invest in. So heading to the Northeast, where you'll find Samsung factories, 
and are also Apple suppliers are in Bakzang province. Bakzang, due to its close proximity to Hanoi, its great infrastructure and 36 industrial parks or clusters, it has attracted over $3.02 billion of foreign direct investment, especially among tech giants and startups alike. Bakzang started off as quite a weak place for investments. However, throughout the years, it has increased its position and attracted some of the really big multinational corporations to invest into the region, especially companies like Foxconn Group that manufactures for Apple, JA Solar, Luxshare, Longi, and many other companies as well. And the first of its kind to be put into the operation of a semiconductor manufacturing joint venture called HANA Micron Vena Group. So knowing all of these places to invest in is great. However, if you're starting from scratch, it may be quite overwhelming. And that's why Yoon Global is here to give you advice. Let's start with you looking to open up a factory or a business in Vietnam. Where do you start? Do you have questions about what visas can I have? Short term, mid term or long term? Anywhere from the investor visa or a potential retirement visa that will last from one to 10 years. Also, you're looking at which city is the best place to start your business and why and what are the pros and cons. Finally, you're asking what entity should I choose, how many partners should I have, and what percentage of foreign and local ownership should it be? So these are the complex questions that here at Yoon Globe, our team of experts with over 15 years of experience will happily help you. In fact, we have a marketing package that is a three-stage process for any factory that wants to open up in Vietnam. Number one, we do market research for you to understand the location, advantages, and your SWOT analysis. Number two, we'll actually set up a trip for you to visit the industrial parks, the factory owners, and also the government officials as well. And then finally, after you decided where you're going, we will assist you on the legal side, entity formation, structuring, and also introduce you to accounting firms and other strategic partners as well. So we have made it easy and simple for you to invest into Vietnam especially if you're a factory. Within these packages, we provide direct services to you, such as advising on entity, drafting contracts, reviewing lease agreements, distribution agreements, also a manufacturing and other agreements as well. But also we provide you value added services, such as connecting you to accounting firms, connecting you to industrial park developers or owners or ready built factories, such as Becamex, VSIP and BWID. And moreover, when you're building your factory, we will assist you in finding a construction company, mechanical engineering, equipment, and also import export logistics. But you can actually do all this by yourself. We always recommend our clients to come into the country first, do some due diligence, see what it's like. So you can just work through us and get a 90 day e visa that allows you multiple entry, 90 days in Vietnam to explore work with people, come to our firm, get a consultation as well. So you can book that through us. Now we will get back to the final hot destination to invest in Vietnam. A province that you may not hear so much like Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi. However, in the past three years, it's trending and been attracting a lot of foreign direct investment. In fact, it has attracted over $2.8 billion of foreign direct investment into the Thai Bun province. It has been quietly trending and has been a place for investment opportunities. Due to its uh, fertile land, it has been able to attract agricultural business, renewable energy, and manufacturing investments as well to become one of the top destinations for foreign direct investment. In the period from 2021 to 2025, the province approved 37 specialized projects in various industries including agribusiness and fisheries, trade services, infrastructure development for industrial parks and clusters, transportation, and of course, environmental projects such as hydraulics and dikes construction. In addition, the province has also maintained light industries such as footwear, garment, textiles, and handicraft manufacturing. So if you are in the solar panel production or in the food and trading business, then Taiban might be the place for you. So there you have it, the six best FDI destinations in Vietnam. However, this is the kicker. Choosing the location and the economy is just the first part. In order to be successful investing into Vietnam, you have to make sure you understand the market conditions, the regulatory environment, 
and building sustainable relationships. For those looking to invest into Vietnam, the message is clear. Opportunities are vast. However, they demand diligence, innovation, and a deep-rooted understanding of the culture and the business dynamics of this amazing country. So you better choose your location and your experts wisely. What did you think of this video about the six destinations for foreign direct investment in Vietnam? As always, thank you for watching this video. My name is Ken Yung. On behalf of Yung Global, make sure that you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and all of our other social media platforms as well. And comment below of whether you are planning to invest or you have invested into Vietnam already. And of course, click on the bell for notifications. So on behalf of Yung Global, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.